Blind Oracle. Randy, what do you need to know this week? This is a specific week for you, honey. It doesn't feel like this is the month. This feels like this is the energy for the week. Okay. All right. We're going to do staggered. This is really coming through as... I'll just show you. It's coming through as very specific. So we're alternating. We're going to get seven cards down here, and then we're going to have a highlight. So I want the four. The bones of it are coming through here. I'm getting something like keys on a piano. You know how you have the keys and you have the black and whites and how they alternate? This is what I'm getting. And I I don't know why the spread is coming through this way, but it is. Keys on the piano. What is that about? There's a harmonic resonance that needs to come through. There's not something in there that is um, it's a change in the key signature. It's like there's a shift in the key when, we, when we're listening to music and it changes key and it elevates. It's like what it's trying to do. Okay. okay, wellness, prosperity, and serenity are coming through. This is like the higher, this is the witch link, but take them as like very fairy and very fey. Wellness, prosperity, and serenity. So these are what's coming through. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. I don't know if you can. Let's scooch these back. All right, there we go. Whoo. Cool. We're getting rebellion, eternal youth. We're getting really, really sacrifice. And then the dark rites here. These ones are what's encapsulating the week. You are letting go of something that's big. You've got growing up. You've got um, investigate here and nonsense. You can't make sense out of nonsense and when there is fuckery afoot. When there is fuckwittery afoot. When people are just screwing with you to screw with you. Or when you know better and you're doing things that are nonsense or get all this drama points coming in. Drama points, drama points, drama points. It's like enough, enough time to push those out. No more of this nonsense that's going on with you. This is something that... Um, it's, it is your way of avoidance, delay, and the rebellion in doing what you are called to do. The purpose that you have been called to do. You, this is an avoidance tactic that you do. The rebellion is not for you to be the forever rebelling against the peaceful or against your own wellness, your own well-being. It's upstart tumult revolution. Um, this is going to sound so rude, but I don't care. This is what's coming through. Quit helping everybody else before you help yourself. Quit helping everybody else or checking how everybody else is doing before you go to what is really nudging you, what is really trying to get your attention. If you had your smoke detector going off in your house, and it was like beep, 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 and it's bugging you. But then your phone rings, you're on the phone, and you're like, you're just kind of tuning that out. You need to pay attention to the smoke detector, okay? This is something big that's going on. Growing up in eternal youth, you, you are very comfortable in helping other people out to the point of your own detriment, to the point of riding the hero horse too long. But this is asking you to leave the rebellion of you not paying attention to the smoke detector, right? And grow up. This is saying... Um, Wanting to grow your experience, rejection of perpetual youth. This is not so much perpetual youth as it is the, the hero for others. You don't have to do for others. Eternal youth, energy, newness, vitality. This is what drains you and what takes you away from your call. This is really... You might have to turn off your phone for a little bit, honey. What's coming through is you are too busy helping everyone else and not busy enough concerned with your own wellness. Is that making sense to you? Oh, good, good. Okay, eternal youth, energy, newness, vitality, and then investigate. Now we're switching gears here a little bit. Look closely, ask questions, think before acting. When we're looking here, this is looking on something that you want to see grow, using the knowledge that you have that you want to see grow, seeing what it is you want to transform. There's somebody that I've been listening to lately, and you guys know I love to say about the death card, um, Get off the branch and fly, spread your wings, right? There's there's that. There's the wings song from Little Mix that is really good. But there's also, we need to remember we are the butterfly. We need to remember that. Sometimes we forget. And we, we don't want to grow. We don't want to expand. We don't want to do what we need to do. 
we, we're comfortable pacing that branch. We're comfortable being around the caterpillars. Uh, no. <laughs> Remember, you are the butterfly. You're meant to expand. You're meant to go here and there and flit around and do um, different things. Maybe you're meant to do like the butterflies are pollinating different things or spreading different... Um, they're, they're more than just the pollinators, like the bees are pollinators, blah, blah, blah. The butterflies are meant to bring beauty, to inspire others, to, to fly, to float, and to show the way that you can glide through something. They're meant to show the fragileness and strength all at the same time. They're meant to be a force of gentleness, a really strong, strong force of gentleness that needs to come through. It's, um, it's almost like it's meant to be, uh, what is that word? It's not paradox, but it's like a walking contradiction, except for it's a butterfly flying contradiction. It's meant to be sublimely strong, and I'm not sure exactly why, but when you honor yourself and expand yourself and spread your wings in the way that is unique to you, this is when the, the wings fly and people are in awe. They're amazed. It's inspiring. So investigate what it is that calls your heart. As you do this in your most authentic way, it's a powerful, powerful expansion and honoring of self that people see. And it really does recharge and renew. It really does light you up. It really does lead for others. This is what your week should be about. And you might be in your grungies or in your like, eh, I don't want to do that. I'd rather procrastinate. Knock it off. That's what, that, I, I can't put it plainer. Sacrifice is coming through next. The renunciation, offering and letting go. You know that you don't have to be the one that rides the hero horse anymore. Let go of the need to be the people pleaser, need to be liked so much, need to be the perfect in order to be the glorious. There are two different things. Perfect is what we set in our mind. Glorious is what we are. Glorious is how we are. It's how we arrive. Like There is nothing wrong with babies when they're born and we see them and they're like gorgeous. And it's like every mom thinks their baby is the most beautiful thing they've ever seen. It's beyond anything they could hope for. But somehow as we grow up, we lose some of this sense of looking at ourselves through that same sense of love. This is important for you. Then nonsense right here. It's time to talk sense. And then we have the death rites. Saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lies. This feels like you've outgrown a situation, a circumstance, or possibly a friend. And it's not a bad thing. It's just you're saying goodbye to your past. Now, we have wellness, prosperity, and serenity. And this is what's coming through the most. The know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe you can have them. This is what's coming through. This knowing keeps you headed towards your own wellness. The serenity from the knowing of a thing. This is the time that you need to grieve what, what didn't happen or grieve how long it took to get to where you are, but to honor self even more. You've been trying to break the cycle. Yeah, this is breakthrough type of energy where um, you'll feel it and you'll wonder if it happened. And you'll feel it and you'll wonder if it happened. And you feel it and you wonder if it happened. It's not like going to be like a tower crashing down. It's going to be where you withdraw a certain part of your energy from one place and invest it over here where you need it to be and you'll be like i'm not sure if anything significant has changed give it a week or two you'll know because that space between those two things where your priority is more on your expansion your growth and your personal gifts that's going to be something that's coming in more and more and more and more invest more and more in your own self and you're going to feel that and you'll be like yeah i remember having that nudge when there was a certain breakthrough and yeah i wanted to dismiss it we get taught to dismiss our gifts sometimes and we, we get to learn how to honor them. We get to learn how to listen to them. When something is over and over and you've moved through it and you're done with it, you're done with it. So understand that. It's not a bad thing. It's just you've outgrown it. You would not continue to wear tiny shoes that pinched your feet. So don't continue to be in tiny spaces that pinch your soul. Okay? All right. That's what I got. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. And there is prosperity. Just trust your knowings. All right. A little bit of water. Yeah, um, Brandy, I think you maybe have broken the cycle more than you know. When you say you've been trying to break the cycle, the cycle has already changed because you're approaching it differently. You're, um, you're changing a dynamic of something. And that's not easy. It takes a little bit of time to do. But as you reinforce and reinforce the new way of going, then it's going to get more noticeable. So that's what I got. 